YouTube, we are about to do something remarkably stupid. I am 102 and 28, rated 844, and undefeated in this current rank season, so for today's How to Pitch With video, I'm gonna put that all on the line. We are starting 99 overall, retro finest, Christy Mathewson. I haven't even thrown a pitch yet, and I already have deep regrets. Christy Mathewson is an all-time great. He throws a lot of junkity junk. So today's video, we're gonna learn how to pitch like a junk balling toxic idiot. Newcomers to the channel, welcome, my name is Kenny. I am sick, my voice does not always sound like this, but we're just gonna go with the flow today. In this series, every Thursday, I teach you how to pitch with a new pitcher in MLB The Show 23. We'll hopefully continue the series on into the future as well, because you guys seem to like it. You won't see a single swing, it's all about the pitching. You're gonna see every single pitch I throw today with Christy Matheson, and hopefully we get a win in ranked seasons. Let's get on with it, Christy Matheson awaits his ranked seasons debut. Christy Matheson, from 1908. I'm pretty sure all stats from back then were fabricated or against plumbers. But either way, Mr. Christy Matheson, number zero, on his jersey, number one in our hearts, has a primary screwball, a four-seam fastball that gets up to 96. I'll believe that when I see it. A 12-6 curve that is slow, 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 slow. A changeup and a sinker, which is awesome. I don't know if sinkers existed in 1908, but my guy has one. Stamina, max. That's meaningless. He'll get tired by the seventh inning. 106 hit per nine, 102 K per nine. Those are his two weak points, in my opinion, when it comes to comparing him against other pitchers in the meta right now. The only captain boosts he's eligible for are Giants captain boosts, and I'm not about to equip a whole team of Giants with Brian Wilson as the captain for the sake of this video. It's going to absolutely ruin my bullpen. So we're rolling with Christy Matheson, raw dog. His controls, as you can see right over there, are phenomenal. His pitch breaks, also fantastic. The sinker doesn't break a ton, but we're just going to use it as kind of like a change of pace type of pitch. And in terms of quirks, the only one we care about is Breakout Liar. It'll be nice if we're the home team. I'm not counting on it. I feel like I've had no home games lately. Like I said at the top, we're 102 and 28. We are rated 844. Let's go do the damn thing. All right, homies, we are locked and loaded. Our opponent today is Nick Fresh, the Brooklyn Parlay Killers. I can relate to that. All my parlays have died recently. P5 Paul Skeens, that's something different. And thank Jeebus, we're the home team. Let's do it. Christy Matheson, 369 and 342. Oh boy, he's played a lot. All right, so the way that Christy Matheson is going to be effective, we're going to have to establish this soft stuff really, really early. So then his fast stuff looks a lot faster that it actually is. And that's a first pitch ground out. I think that's just luck there. I am going to establish that screwball and maybe even that 12-6, which is such a scary pitch. But we need to be able to get him slowing his bat down, sitting back, so that we can blast the four-seamer and the oh. sinker by him. So that's a good miss. We're going to throw one more screwball here and then go to the fastball to see how he adjusts. Very nice. He's late on that. That's a good sign. This gets up to 98. Let's see if we can blow it past him. Oh, yes. Okay. See, that's what we want. That is picture perfect. What do we think of this change up below the zone? Good take. Okay. I'm going to go right back to this four-seamer. Good bunt dance, pal. Swinging through, swing through this. See ya. Yeah, Christy Matheson's going to be fun. I don't necessarily advocate for you to use him, but he's going to be fun. Please don't quit. For the love of God, please don't quit. Please don't quit, because then we're screwed. All right, thank you, Jesus. All right, sinker inside on the fists of Nolan Arenado. Nice pitch. Oh, boy, nice pitch. Come on, don't do this to me. Don't do this to me. Don't do this to Christy Matheson. We're going to have a rough time if you do this to Christy Matheson. He's back. Okay, thank you. Screwball in. Uh-oh. And, uh, yeah, he's under it. Christy Matheson's going to get a lot of weird contact. I don't know if that ball should have been popped up to first. He probably should have killed it. But because he throws so many weird moving pitches, we're going to get weird contact. Nice hitting. Let's go score a run. Hopefully this guy doesn't quit. We'll go pitch again. All right, this guy isn't an awful pitcher. So hopefully that means he stays in this game. It also means I'm going to have to make sure I pitch extra good, extra strong with Mr. Christy Matheson. This guy hits the pause button more than anyone I've ever met in my entire life. And I'd like it to stop. A very nice spot there. I would have preferred it below the zone, but we will take a go-ahead strike one to the changeup now. Way early on that. Hopefully he thinks this is a screwball coming down. Instead, it's going to be a four-seamer above the zone. Way too high. I got to get that down more because that is an effective pitch to throw. Now we throw the screwball. See if he swings ground ball or something. Yep, ground ball, Mookie Betts. The jump throw. Nice job. One away. 
That ball missed its spot just a tick. I would have preferred that to be much more down below the zone, but hey, we'll take that. So the one problem that we're going to have with Christy Matheson is that against righties, he has nothing that moves from right to left. Everything is either straight, up and down, or in. That is definitely a problem, and that is definitely a reason why he's not going to be used a ton. I would prefer if we took away his 12-6 and gave him a slider instead. I understand why he does not have that, because I don't think the slider was a real thing until later on in life. So we're going to have to make do with Christy Matheson. We're going to have to fabricate ways of moving pitches from right to left. Like by starting this 12-6 there and going outside. Perfect. Okay, two outs. The 12-6 is going to have to work that way. I'm going to try to throw that outside as much as possible to righties. So, with two away, I want to see if I can get a grounder with this sinker to Mike Trout. Wait, was that the World Baseball Classic, Mike Trout? Okay, that's his wild card. Interesting. Got it. Screwball. Nice job. Jammed him with a screwball, which is astounding. We're going to have to start changing eye levels a little bit with that screwball. We can't just keep putting it knee and belt high. We're going to have to start moving it above the zone or higher in the zone. I'm just trying to gauge my opponent right now. The lead is mine. Should have been more. Could have been more. I kind of screwed the last two at-bats there, but strung some hits together. Got a run. First pitch strike. Okay. I said I wanted to start moving the screwball up in the zone a little bit. I'm afraid, but I'm going to try it because this is what's going to lead to success. Oh, my lord. Said that was a good time swing. I don't know how he missed it. Let's get this change up going now. Got him. Oh, okay. He was a little early on that, thank God, because I think he pieced it up pretty well. But that's one out. The whole goal with Christy Matheson is to pitch like just a junk baller. We're trying to get the weakest of weak contact all the time with every pitcher anyway. But especially with Christy Matheson. He doesn't throw hard enough to really blow people's doors off. So we have to be, be nifty. Be shifty. Be cunning. Have grace. All those words. You know, think, think about all those words you're thinking about. Those, those words. That's what we gotta be. I don't know why you swung at that, mate. Let's see if we can blow a four-seamer by him. Come on. This is the spot we'd throw it. Okay, he was early on it. Okay, we learned from that. The soft stuff is supposed to help us set up the heater. It didn't yet. At least not there. That was a great take. It's not really where I wanted that pitch either, but that's a great take. Let's see if we can kiss a corner here. Oh my god, do you see how much that pitch moves? It's actually disgusting how much that pitch moves. This is where I'd love a cutter or a slider or something. To lefties, it's rough. It's rough out here in them streets against a lefty. So we're going to have to either spot this or get some sort of, I don't know, pop-up. Or a grounder. Mookie Betts is there. Look at us. Eight up, eight down. Christy Matheson dealing. He has not had to work hard at all. Devers, though. God, this guy's got averages in the 250s with everybody except Devers. 322. And he's hitting ninth. Make it make sense. So we got to be careful against Rafi. We also cannot keep throwing first pitch screwballs. We do have to be cognizant of the fact that it's going to get repetitive. We got to mix it up. So on 0-2, I'm actually... This is going to bite me in the ass, I bet. I'm going to go to this again because he was so not ready for it. Okay. Good adjustment there. What's the timing? Late. Okay. I want this in. I don't want this in the zone. I want it close to the zone, though. Or it'll be a call straight. A perfect pitch on accident. Perfect through three. Your boy is up four, nothing. Two home runs that inning. Let's see if we can jam Ronnie in with a sinker. We're going to shy away from the slow stuff first pitch now. Oh my God, and it worked to perfection. I don't know how much longer my opponent is going to stay in. We're knocking on wood to try to get through five innings at least. We've thrown 33 pitches and Christie's been pretty damn good. Now again, we're not facing the greatest opponent of all time. So he's going to look good, of course, but we need him to look Fantastic for all of you people to see if you'd like to use him or not. So we go to the screw ball, the screw you ball. Right down the middle of the plate. Oh my god, he hit the piss out of it right at Mookie. Thank you, Jeebus. Two outs in the fourth. We got really lucky there. We admittedly got incredibly lucky there. He timed that up very well. Change up. I don't think he'll be ready for this as a first pitch. He wasn't. Sinker in on the fists. I burped right there, so excuse me. But accidental, very good spot. Let's see if he chases this screwball. We're through four. 
And the thing is happening, yeah. I already said it last inning. We're through four perfect innings. Please don't quit. Please. Another two solo ding-dongs. Six nothing and our guy is still here. That's fucking great news. Sinker away. What does Jose think? We are working off of edges, off of corners, up, down, left, right. Christy Matheson's stuff moves. Take advantage of it. Don't aim anything in the middle of the plate. Stay the hell away from the middle of the plate. And with that four-seamer being deceptively sneaky fast, you can use it both as a strikeout pitch, as a setup pitch, as a get-ahead-in-the-count pitch like we just did there. Now it's 0-2. No I bet he thinks a screwball is coming, so I'm going to stay with the heat. We're going to go three straight fast pitches this at bat. That's a ball. Bad spot, though. One That's ball, not what you want. So now that that didn't work, we adjust and we go change up low. Missed the spot entirely. Oh my god. My pinpoint is so bad today, but we got the punchy. He was late on the change. I'm so confused. I'm so confused. I'm not going to complain, though. Sinker inside. Sinker over the plate. My pinpoint is horseshit. I'm having a problem figuring out the cadence of Christy Matheson's pinpoint because he's so slow with his stupid, long, arching, stretchy delivery. And he quit! God damn it! Come back! Nick Fresh, come back. That's the debut. I hate when little children like this queue into a game and get upset that they're not winning, so they immediately quit. Sometimes you lose. Sometimes you face Christy Matheson, who throws a perfect game through four and two thirds. Life happens. But Christy Matheson goes four and two thirds. He gets four strikeouts. My opponent wasn't great. He did put the ball in play a decent amount, though. I don't know if Christy Matheson is necessarily God Squad caliber. I would not be shocked if I saw him. I would also not necessarily encourage you. To use him, I think he's a fun, quirky, gimmicky type of pitcher. He's similar to Fernando Valenzuela, just a righty. And of course, he throws a little harder, but same general idea. What do you guys think of Christy Matheson? Do you think he's trash? Probably, I understand. But let me know what you think in the comments down below. Thank you for making it to the end of this video. I'm sorry it was not longer. I'm also not feeling well, and I don't really have the bandwidth to keep recording another game. So thank you guys for understanding. Next week, we'll get more gameplay. We'll see if we got a cool postseason pitcher to use. Love you all. See you next time.